To find the points of intersection of these functions, press Graph. Notice the selections at the bottom of the screen. These are accessed by pressing the F1 through F5 keys. We're interested in the POI, which stands for Points of Intersection. Please remember that. Okay, so to access this, we press Alpha and Zoom for F3. And notice a few things here. First, we have a blinking cursor on a point of intersection. In the upper left-hand corner of the view screen, we notice it's the intersection of lines Y1 and Y2. And the coordinate pair is given here at the bottom. That's the coordinate pair 2.5 comma 7.5. Now one caveat, be patient when using the arrow keys to move around because some of this is a little counterintuitive. So moving here, notice this other point of intersection of functions y1 and y3. This is the point 2 thirds comma 2 because 0.6 repeating is 2 thirds. Now it might be difficult getting to this third point so bear with me. Aha, here we go. So this last point of intersection of functions y2 and y3 are 4.3 repeating comma 2 which is also 13 thirds comma 2. So now you know how to use inequals to find points of intersection. This helps for many types of problems. You've already seen one difficulty is that you have to be patient using the arrow keys moving around here. Secondly, inequals has problems locating points of intersection of nonlinear functions. In the case of nonlinear functions, please use intersect from calc menu to find estimates of these points.